the minimum value for quadratic functions. This is the general form of the quadratic functions. And A is the thing that determines the max or mean value for the functions. So when A is bigger than 0, what kind of shape of the graph? Is it a U or the N? So when it is bigger than 0, it is a U shape. When A is smaller than 0, it is a N shape. Okay. Some of you might ask, how do I remember this? So I have my own method. So when A is bigger than 0, you feel happy when everything is bigger than 0, you feel happy. And how you draw the emoji? This. A happy face. And when A is smaller than 0, and you feel sad. This is how you draw the emoji of the sad. Notice the mouth. When you're happy, you smile. It's a U-shape. So, a U-shape. And when you're sad, the mouth is an N-shape. It's an N-shape. And when it's a U-shape, it's a minimum point. And it's a, when it's a N-shape, it's a maximum point. Okay, how do we determine the minimum point, which is over here, and maximum point is over here, for these quadratic functions? You are using completing square method. Still remember what is completing square? The general formula of completing square is a multiplied x plus p square plus q. This is the general formula for completing square. And in this case, when a is bigger than zero. When a is bigger than 0, the minimum point is, from a completing square, is x value is p. Y value is Q. And when A is smaller than 0, is a maximum point is also P and Q. So, again, when the question gives us the, uh, the quadratic functions, general form, we have to change it into the completing square general form. Then you can find the either maximum or minimum for the correct functions. Okay, let's take a look at this example. Given by questions, this is the functions 2x squared plus 7x plus 10. And we are asked to find the maximum or minimum value for these quadratic functions. So the maximum or the minimum value is determined by a. So A is A is 2. So this is bigger than 0. So when you have more than 0, you feel happy. So the shape of mark is U. So this is a minimum. Next step, you convert this general format 
into competing square format. So the competing square format is a divided x plus b square plus q. This is the general format. So we expand it. A x square plus two b x plus p square plus q. Okay, then this one, the whole equation we take up two. We get two x square plus seven over two x plus two. Uh, ten divided by two is five. Okay, we compare this and this. So we have. X square, X square. So this one two p x, this one seven over two x. So two p is equal to seven over two. Therefore, p is seven over four, and p square is forty nine over sixteen. Now, we follow it, write x squared plus 7 over 2x plus 49 over 16 minus 49 over 16 plus 5. You plus 49 over 16. And minus 49 over 16 is 0. So meaning this third line and the second line are the same. But why do we need to add 49 over 6 over 16? Because we need to convert this from this form into this form. So p squared. P squared is 49 over 16. So here is 40 p squared. From here to here, we have to fulfill all the criteria. You can see over here. X square, X square. 2 px is 7 over 2x plus p square, and we find out p square is 49 over 16. 49 over 16 is here plus. So this one. This blue box can let us forward into here. So we write A so how will we have to use the color. So A is 2. X square, X square, 7 over 2X, 2PX is the same. 49 over 16 is P square. So we can go into X plus P. P is 7 over 4. Square. Okay, now 2 multiply 49 over 16. We get negative 49 over 8. Right. 2 multiply 5. We got positive 10. So here we write it. 2 multiply x plus 7 over 4. Square. So negative 49 over 8 plus 10 is equal to positive 31 over 8. Therefore, the minimum value is negative 7 over 4 and y axis is 31 over 8. Okay, why negative? But well, here we have positive. This is because this one. This one needs to become 0. And it's actually x plus 
And if you have any questions regarding this subtopic, feel free to comment below this video and we will further explain it to you.